don't stop. Hi, fancy beauties and bows. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a different kind of video than my typical makeup look or DIY or anything like that. So it's been put on my heart um, and I've been wrestling with try doing it or not doing it. And I believe that God wants me to put this message out there because it is to promote love. And you guys know, most of you guys know that follow me on YouTube that I am all about love. I want everybody to love everybody. And so for years, if you look back on my, my videos where I'm really talking about something that's um, meaningful, something substantial, uh, that is going to encourage us spiritually as well as mentally. And so he put on my mind, he said, talk about what you love about other, race, other races. And I was like, Lord, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of a hard subject to deal with because you can get backlash from the race that you're speaking of. You can get backlash from your own race. And he said, that's not what I asked you. I asked you to go and talk about this on your channel. Of course, he didn't say on my channel, but I knew what he meant. So... I said, okay, and things kept getting in the way, you know, I ran out of time and, you know, this wasn't right, that wasn't right, but here we are, all right, and so you can read the title, and it is about what I love about white people, about Caucasians, about whatever label you want to put on this race. So I wrote some things down, you know, some of them came right off the top of my dome. Some of these things that I wrote down, I felt when I was a young girl that I wanted to be white. I mean, let's be honest. We have to be honest from the start if we want anything to change. And so when I was a little girl, I wanted to be white and I wanted to be white because I wanted their hair. I wanted your hair. If you're white, I'm speaking to you. I wanted the the long, flowy, you could do anything with hair. I wanted the blue eyes. I wanted the green eyes. I wanted the hazel eyes. I wanted the little lips. So these are just some of the things that, as a little girl, I remember that I admired. And that's what we lost. We lost the fact of, you know what? I admire that race. I admire the, their hair or their, you know, whatever it is that you admired. And you maybe somebody told you, oh, you're just jealous of them. It's not that you're jealous of that person or whatever it is that they have. You just want to see what it feels like to walk in that person's path because they're doing so great. And all of us want to be great, right? So those are just some of the things that I like and love about white people. Some others, you're loyal. And, and keep in mind, some of these things that I'm reading off of this list are qualities in other races. You can find these qualities in other races. But again, this video is set up and is being done out of love. And I hope it's contagious. All right, so you're loyal. And what I mean by that is you will go in and you will be 
by your racist side come hell or high water. You're right there. You're going to uplift them. You're going to bring them up to success. You're not going to worry about, oh my gosh, they're going to do more. They're going to do better than I am. At least these are, this is what I see. And this is all based off of my intellect. This is all based off of what I feel and what I see with the people that's around me, okay? Um, you're very family oriented. And with that, I have to put in with marriage and this is on both sides this is for the the woman and for the man and so for the man you all are not afraid of marriage you will you will love that girl you will want to wife her and you will want to be in your family's life from beginning to end some of you okay again uh this is only the focus for my white people, okay? Black people, calm down. Your, your, your turn coming, okay? And this is not, my list is not composed of everybody in this race because uh, there are races, there's people in, in that all races that don't do what they're supposed to do, okay? But this video is only positive. This is only for positivity. I, I cannot reiterate that enough. You are money makers. You will go and you can make that money. You will open up a business. Doesn't matter if it's, you feel like it's going to fail or succeed. At least you know, hey, I tried it. And you do it and you are a money maker. Okay? You're risk takers. That goes hand in hand with being money makers because you have to take risk in order to make your money. If you don't take a risk, if you don't try, you will never know and you will never be able to make the money that you make. So I commend you guys for being able to take risk and believe in your dreams and make them a reality. You're kind-hearted. If it's something, you you see someone that may be struggling or needs something, you will give of yourself. You will give of your money. You will give of your time. You will give of your knowledge. And to me, that is a kind-hearted person where you put self last. And I do commend you for that as well because... I have seen people around me that just give of themselves and they don't complain while they're doing it. Um, you have cute noses and, and cute lips. I mentioned that earlier. So, yeah. I love you guys' this noses. They're so cute little and your little lips. I love it, okay? Um... The ladies and the men, you guys look good in your jeans. Um, and, and, you know, some of this stuff is superficial. Yes, it is. But again, this is all to promote positivity. You never know who might be going through something. So it may seem minute. It may seem like, oh, my God, I can't believe she put that on there. But you don't know what somebody may be going through. Maybe this video is going to help someone's confidence and make them realize, you know what? It's not so bad being white and being me. So let's just embrace this and take it for what it is. See past your closed mind if, if that's where you're coming from. Leave that. Be open. Let's let's be open so we can change the way things are going in the world. Knows how to have a good time. <laughs> you guys know how to have a good time. Just say the word party and it is on and popping, okay? I mean, it's no holds barred. You we have a good time. 
you go in, you have fun, you laugh, you talk, you play games, you dance, you do everything, and I love it. Karaoke is all awesome. So you guys definitely know how to come together and have a good time. Successful. This goes hand in hand with being a risk taker, being a money maker, because you will take the most detailed thing and make sure that it is not going to be an issue. And so these are all the things that you you plan for. You write down and you strategize and you organize and you make a plan and you get people that's going to help things work cohesively together. You know, you guys come together. If it, if it sounds like a good idea, you will put your money in there so it can be a success. And so... The, just things like that makes a person successful. You're creative. You will take, you know, you will take take something that, you know, everyday household supply or uh, product, and you will take that and make something. And even if it's in existence already, you will take that product and you will make it better to make it more efficient. Because, it again, it goes back to making sure that your home runs smoothly. That your wife has the things that she needs to make your home more efficiently ran. You know, whether it's a cooking tool or if it's a cleaning tool. You have the creativity to make these things come to light and put it out on the market and it becomes successful. You took a risk and you made your money. And the last thing, which is what I talked about earlier, is that you don't run away from marriage. You don't run away from, you know what? I love this lady and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. And I love that. I love the fact that you can you can say I want to be a family man. I want to do this thing and I'm in it to win it. And so in conclusion whatever it is that you see in another race don't look at it as envy. Look at it and you see if you can use that and incorporate it into your walk in life. You know, there, there's so many things that we can say bad about each other. It's been done over and over and over and over. It's time to do something different. It's time to uplift each other because at the end of the day, that is what God wants. He wants us to uplift each other. He wants us to learn from each other. And I say this every time in my videos. He wants us to learn from each other. And use that knowledge. And use each other to get his goals done. Which is for all of us to make it to heaven. We cannot make it to heaven if we are continually bashing people, if we're continually calling people bad names, we cannot get to heaven that way. Because at Judgment Day, you have to answer to God. You don't have to answer to the black man, to the black woman. You don't have to answer to the Asian family. You don't have to answer to the Koreans. You don't have to answer to Middle Eastern. You don't have to answer to anyone except for God. And so you have to, and we need to put ourselves in a position where we are constantly making sure that we keep our focus on God and not the skin color. It's not about the skin color because at the end of the day, this list is in everyone. This list is in Asians, it's in black people, it's in Africans, it's in 
Hawaiians. It's in whatever nationality you can think of, whatever race you can think of. This list, and this is only a little bit, this is only a little bit of what we have inside of us as people because God is good. And if God is good and he made us, then we are good on the inside. And we have to be able to uplift everyone and say, hey, you know, I love your dark skin. You are so beautiful. I love your hair. I love that you have big lips. I love everything about your race. How you can go through struggle and come out and, and you, you're okay. I love that about you. Come be on my team. Let's work together. Let's get this dream together. Let's fellowship together. Let's praise God together. Let's have unity in this world together. That's what God wants from us. That's what he needs from us. Do you know he's up there in heaven and he's so sad right now. We are tearing each other apart. That's not what he wants. That's not what he made us for. We all bleed red at the end of the day. We all have families. Put the guns down. Put the knives down. Put the bombs away. We all have families that's going to mourn for us when you take us before God is ready for us to come home. We have to stop. No more killing. Let's love each other. Let's bring each other up and give us self-esteem. Boost someone's self-esteem. Tell them, you look nice today. Tell them, you did a great job today. Just help encourage others. Stop tearing each other down. We've done that enough. I'm going to do my part. And we all have to look in the mirror and say, what can I do today to uplift someone? Thank you for listening to me with this. And again, I hope that you all can take something away from this and use it for good. Don't use it for bad. Don't, don't use it to attack someone. You know? It's a lot of things I've been seeing online on YouTube about things that are being done and it's not good. And so let's turn that around. Find something good in what you think is bad. That's your true test. Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next video. Fancy beauties and bows. Y'all stay locked. Another video is coming towards you in the next video. Stay fancy. Stay blessed. And stay positive.